after this, I'm sure in April we'll have more. Once we start with the you know, with the activities, and there are many more than what we're going to discuss today. So that's how it is. Actually, I'm, I'm sure talking to the local. Sorry. Yes, but I'm yes. Talking to the lo local uh, Sagodias, two three Sagodias. So Ooh. I'm just planning to rope in all the schools. So just we uh, shared the players. So mm -hmm. hope uh, they are also joined for the next. Academic year. Yeah, we have Ashish also. Ashish, we can say hello. Another co lead ambassador, advocate, as I keep saying, you know, we're thinking. Let's hello, ma'am. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hi. Dr. Mittal. Yes, Supinder, you want to say something? We're we'll going to start in one minute. If you have a few seconds to speak out. We need to mute the participants. Uh, team, look into it. Yeah. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Hello, Sandra. Good. Hello. Nice to see everybody. Your team is there. Your students are there. Um, well, I'm going to give, I think I gave him the wrong link. I'm going to go to give him this right now. Hold on. Oh, please uh, do that. Here is the correct link. Uh, Hi, Pakistan. Oh, that's good. Barrera, we yeah, are our advocate from Pakistan. Charu, I was thinking if I could share it, I made a few little amendments, please. If I could share it. Uh, the presentation. I think you had not joined when I was talking. Thank you so much. That's great. Uh, Barrera, we're very, very happy to have, and I'm so happy to see Krishna Mahipal. Oh, son, you've grown Thank up. Thank you. You've grown up. <laughs> ah, Guljeet is there. Thank you. Good Gujarat. evening, ma'am. Hi, good evening, dear. Good evening, sir. Good evening, hello, everybody. Hello, hello ma'am. Hello. And Manjula, another advocate is there, so that's that's good. So there is my screen clear. Shall shall we start now? Because the time says it's six oh one. Yes, visible. Yeah, thank you. So uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to advocates of peace, the ambassadors of peace, the peace agents, the leaders in the classroom. Thank you so much for joining. And this is good evening from India. And good morning and uh, good afternoon elsewhere in different parts of the world as such. Uh, namaste. We are delighted to have all of you uh, in team Rise Up for Peace. Thank you so much for joining. And Rise Up for Peace is an educational initiative empowering educators and inspiring young minds on SDG 16 and rule of law. This goes from January 2024 to December 2024. This is the fourth dialogue in the series of dialogues which are going to have till December. Along with me, we have uh, Mr. Samarth Patak, the most important moderator, and he's the communications officer and focal point youth UNODC regional office for South Asia. Over to you, Samarth, sir, please. You Thank would you. like? Yes. Thank you very much, Ms. Dillon, and uh, a very warm welcome to all of you again to the fourth dialogue of uh, this Rise Up for Peace initiative. Uh, this initiative cannot really you know, function without all of you, the active involvement. And uh, we are all very pleased to see the kind of response that is coming in, the kind of interest that is coming in. A lot of you are reaching out actively with ideas and um, you know, expectations uh, that uh, we hope to keep uh, with this initiative. And we all have to work collectively for this. Uh, why? Because of three reasons. One is that there is tremendous interest, as I was just saying uh, before we joined, 
Uh, there's tremendous interest coming in from different UN entities. Uh, of course, there's a lot of interest from within UN ODC itself, which is the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. Uh, but even at the country level, for example, in India, in Bangladesh, in Nepal, in South Asia, uh, and at the headquarters in Austria, there's a lot of interest within different UNODC offices uh, who are looking at this initiative, who are looking at all the work that we have been doing together, uh, but also very high level officials from within the government space, within the policy space, and even educational leaders. So there's a lot of uh, eyeballs right now on us. And uh, that's the momentum that we have been able to create all thanks to you in just over a few weeks. So I think a big round of applause should go to each of us uh, for our collective uh, efforts. Uh, the second reason why Rise Up for Peace matters is because uh, young people right now need a lot of support. Um, not that they are, you know, they are, we are patronizing or we are trying to, you know, sort of, um, you know, like patronize them in some way. But clearly, there's so much of things going on around uncertainties, anxieties, violence, uh, all sorts of social risks that make our young people very vulnerable. And that is why we need education. We need educational leaders like all of you to sort of empower our young to promote a culture of peace, a culture of lawfulness or the rule of law and integrity. This is not something that we are sort of... Uh, you know, thinking of as a standalone thing. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think you are muted. Sorry, sorry. So the second reason why I was saying why this is important is because uh, young people right now need a lot of support in the sense of the social risks that are going around. We see violence, we see climate risks, we see social risks, uh, which makes our young people very vulnerable. And that is why we need to empower our young with education, with the support of educational leaders like you to promote a culture of peace, lawfulness and integrity. This is not something that is standalone or we are you know, imagining it in a sort of a silo, but all of this is actually integrated with your national level policies and plans and even at the global level. For example, in India, we have the national education policy, the national youth policy, uh, the global uh, sort of commitment to the sustainable development goals that are very, very closely aligned with all of these themes that we are looking at. Uh, similarly, at the global level on SDG 16, there are a lot of commitments that member states have made around these issues, around issues of crime prevention, around rule of law, around integrity among young people. And I think this is a common thread that is going around around the world in education. So this is something that is very closely aligned with country level policies as well, and that is why it matters. And the third reason why this matters is because this is the time. Um, our young people have to be equipped with the skills, with the knowledge. Uh, the world is rapidly changing with technology, with AI and different things. And so are the risks, the social risks that are rising. So this is the time when we empower our young to do something constructive for society, for social peace, for social betterment. And this is, that's why this is, I call it a coalition of partners, a coalition of uh, educators are doing their work, promoting cross-learning with each other so that we are sharing our experiences. We are building a sort of a network of action and a community of learners. So this is why Rise Up for Peace matters and your support matters. Uh, so far, what we have done are dialogues and a lot of ideas, exchanges, a lot of trainings as well. Uh, we have started with a training on SDGs and SDG 16, and every month we hope to do one specific training on a certain theme, uh, which based on which we can do our activities. But now we start with the actions, with the activities, which Ms. Dillon would be sharing. And of course, these are this is just an indicative list. Every month, I think we should meet up just for an ideas exchange session on activities. And your ideas are welcome. Sometimes it shouldn't be top down. Sometimes like, uh, for example, uh, in the previous session, I think Ms. Swati raised a very important point on having young people articulate ideas on what they want to do in support of SDG 16. So it should be a, a sort of a 
discussion amongst each of us. So we hope to do more such dialogues on ideas, on activities. But very importantly, we should now start rolling out the actions and activities. Uh, for this, we have a few ideas that I'll share uh, later in the session. But uh, I hand over the mic back to Ms. Dillon now. I'm looking forward to our collective efforts. Thank you. Ma'am, you're muted. Ma'am, you're muted. Please unmute yourself. In the meantime, let me tell you also, while Ms. Dillon is looking at the night, um, that uh, there's a lot of interest from uh, different UN entities already. A lot of our work is already being covered by different UN agencies through news reports, through social media outreach. And we also have a new media partner in place, especially in India. Um, one of the largest uh, media groups in India, Dainik Jagran's educational arm is now uh, connected with us. So we hope to have a lot of coverage around the work that we do. Um, I think it's OK now. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. OK. So here we go now. The slideshow. <clears throat> So all students would be known as SDG 16 champions and we'll have uh, meetings where only the students are speaking. Yes, we'll go for that. And then uh, whether they are educators, whether they are institutions, uh, all of us are partners for peace. And then, of course, we'll be having country peace ambassadors or we are calling them country peace advocates because the ambassador's role is to advocate for peace. And so goes the global peace advocates. We are so happy to have um, our educator spotlight today, and she is Sandra Riskalla, co-founder and executive director, Plugged In Band Program. Plugged In is a non-profit rock band program training ages 17 to 19 years throughout uh, USA, uh, Massachusetts. I hope I pronounce it correctly about using music to create positive change in the world. Over to you, Sandra. You can unmute yourself and tell something about your band, and then your student can come over and he can do the talking. Please introduce him too. Okay. Hi, um, I'm Sandra, and I'm so grateful, inspired, and excited to be part of Rise Up for Peace. Um, <clears throat> so Plug Plugged In is a, an organization I co-founded 21 years ago. But what I'm really here to speak about is Peace Tracks, which is um, a program that's part of Plugged In that I co-founded in 2021. And it's, um, I'll just read a little bit just so that I can explain it. It's a cross-cultural music-focused online youth exchange for middle and high school students. And we're working right now with youth in Palestine, Jordan, Morocco, and the United States. And we're funded by a, a US Department of State grant. Um, for two years. And basically, we group the kids into bands. They work, um, and each band has students from every country. They work together with a teacher, and this is all virtual. And they come up with a theme about positive change for the world that's important to them. And they write a song and do a music video. And we have a live stream concert on YouTube where all the, the videos are screened and the kids can chat and support each other. And the reason why I felt <clears throat> inspired to create this program. And as Amro, our student will explain, Peace Tracks is full of love and compassion. And I feel like youth are the future. And as um, Samarth, you were saying that there is so much pain in the world and so much hardship. And I think the first thing is they're so sensitive, uh, the kids, and we have to remind them that there's goodness and love in the world. And they're the hope for peace. And I feel that by giving them love and compassion, and acknowledging who they are and then providing a safe space for them to express love and compassion, not only for others, but for themselves. 
and then to empower them to share their voice, their compassion and hopes for the future and give them a tool. And in Peace Tracks, the tool is music. So I'm just gonna introduce Amro, who is um, from Palestine. And um, Amro was in our fall session last year and he was awesome. So take it away, Amro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Sandra. Hi, everyone. Like Ms. Sandra just said, I was a part of um, Peace Tracks, the full band. Our song theme was actually about love, and I'm here to answer a couple of questions. And I wanted to talk mainly about how it feels living in Palestine. It didn't reflect how it was shown in. Someone raised his hand. <laughs> Should I? Okay. And I want to talk about how it feels living in Palestine and reflect how Peace Tracks kind of give me a new perspective on how to look in it at it so um living in palestine has always felt normal you know you grow up you're a kid you always go through the same scenarios through the same situations you always hear the same stories but then someday you just grow up you get access to the world and you just ask yourself is this normal that i've been going through we always just grew up seeing, hearing stories about war and hardships and panics and terrifying things and actually living in this moment doesn't only affect our mental well-being but affects our education affects our family affairs it affects our financial situations and it's really hard just going through all of it especially now during the month of ramadan and what's happening of gaza i'm pretty sure a lot of you heard about it i've Talk to a lot of people who were just broke down talking about it because none of us can help. We're just praying and hoping it gets to them. But we don't really see any of the outcomes for prayers. You know, you just look at them, you see the videos, you see the news, and you don't know what to do, what to feel, how you can even help them. Um, in the future, I'm really hoping to actually achieve what SDG 16 is actually about peace and love and compassion between each other. I've talked to a lot of families that who are like from the coastal areas where there's not a lot of conflict let's say and a lot of them are looking for the peace that we're also looking for so I'd love if that is what we achieve which is also what extended in peace tracks just like I said, our song was about love. So working from each other's, from people around the world, seeing each other's song, being in a concert for one and a half hours, just like um, giving support to each other's was an amazing experience. So thank you for having me, everyone. That's it. So um, I was wondering, would you like me to share the video that Amro worked on or what is the uh, yes, name of your piece? Yes, and what was the name of your video again? I have them here and I just forgot, yes. Uh, my video was yellowish butterf but, um, oh, the butterflies. The butterflies, yes. Yeah. Yes, stars and butterflies, here it is. Hold on one second. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me share my screen. Let me then unshare it first. Okay. Stop sharing me. Let me know when you're ready. And Amro, you did a wonderful job presenting. I just want to let you know. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Should I share now? <laughs> no, not yet. Um, okay, take your time. Uh, so time. who's going to tell me how to, because, okay, I'll have to minimize and then go and look at the top and see where unshare is. Let's see if I share what happens. Do you guys see this? Oh, you, you share it. Let's see what happens then. Okay. Let me know if you can hear and see. Just, yeah. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> You told me I look pretty, I told you look beautiful, you told me I am wise, you told you are funny, 
hours and hours and everything looked more simple. You whispered in my ear that I stole something from you. Oh, maybe it's your words. You told me I look yellow, I told you look pretty, you told me I'm in your heart, I told you I'm in mine. So, would you hold my hand? Said I'm enchanting, I mentioned you blue You pressed my wrist to my teeth, you're 42 They can swim by and everything became pretty In soft tones, you were very close and near Perhaps it's God that I hold my dear He told me I'll look you a thanks, is all I said He told me that we're mine, I told you I miss your hand So, yeah, I'd love to hold it Wow. Puzzle faces are souls from the space. Rub unwinding the dance, souls embrace. With rising gazes, clues delicately traced. Stolen glances, a home, a swirly grace. Never look out. It's so rare, celestial journey. Her love will always be there. Oops. <laughs> hey, are you here? I just want to say I miss your company. Hope you are doing well. Oh, that is so good. Very sweet, very beautiful, Amro. Uh, uh, Amro, we're very, very thankful. Uh, we understand the pain and all that you went through, but see, music is the healer, as they rightly call. And Sandra was a real help for you to, you know, have emotions being uh, put into music and sharing it. Thank you, Sandra, and thank you, Amro, for being part of this uh, all important session. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. So, uh, so the IT department, I need to share all over again now, please. Uh, yes, ma'am, exactly. You need to share it again. <laughs> yes, yes, it's all right. See, I'm learning by doing now. It's hands on for me. Thank you. So thank you, Sandra. That was so, so good. Thank you and very, very much. Ah, so now uh, I believe the screen has hanged and maybe I'll have to do it once again. <laughs> Let me try it once more. Uh, so I have to come out and close it. I think though I've made some changes, uh, all right. Oh, yes, it there it goes. 
So ladies and gentlemen, my beloved uh, peace advocates and colleagues of Rise Up for Peace, we have just tried to make a newsletter and let's see all. And in this, we have everything we have done so far till date. So here we go. Ma'am, you need to share the audio from the top, please. Okay. Daru, I think you take over and share the audio, please, before I do more experiments here. Are you doing it now, Amandeep Acharu? Yeah, thank you. Okay.
So that was uh, really nice and thank you so much. I'm sure everybody might have liked this. So now we, uh, we're going to share the activities. With, these are all uh, structured activities. This is for K-12 students. Uh, it's bringing them in and then we can go to different levels and we'll have uh, all student focused sessions as rightly said by Samath also. So the first activity which we're going to have is artistic representation of peaceful coexistence SDG 16 and in this we expect the children to uh, illustrate in any medium the way they wanted any colors, uh, cultural fair, inclusive classroom, uh, multi-ethnic market where peaceful coexistence Existence can be depicted and uh, we'll be sharing a detailed, uh, rather we'll be sharing a, a document which gives all details of all the activities. So no worries, we'll share the link of the document, the Word document. Uh, we would like everybody to put it in the wakelet. So this is activity two SDG champions. Again, students voice is very, very important. So we have this flip grid challenge and we would like that the children tell about uh, their own country and they talk about and it it needs to be a 20 second video. We have given the Flipgrid link and we have given some uh, prompts also join me in promoting fairness and inclusivity for all uh, by uh, after saying that which country, which class, which school or and, um, some other prompts are be a peace builder, spread kindness and understanding. So quite a number of prompts have been given. All this is structured so that uh, it becomes very, very easy for all the educators to look into it and get uh, get the students involved. Um, the activity three is all about an online peti petition which is to be signed by the students uh, so they'll know what a petition is and then um, uh, the, what they are demanding is that the curriculum need to be mapped with SDG 16 so that we can promote what SDG uh, 16 is all about. Yes please. And moving on, it is um, activity four, which is AR for equal equality. Uh, somehow we feel children should be apprised about what AI is all about, and they can use AI and give the prompts to make a picture, uh, which is on embark on AI for equality challenge. So it's human rights and equality. And again, they can use uh, Adobe Express or Canva or Copilot, any of these uh, AI tools they can use and then uh, they can give the prompts to get a picture and that picture could be shared. All these need to be shared in Wakelet and um, that's how we go. Activity five is SDG 16. It's a poetry jam where the children are expected to write a quatrain. A quatrain is a simple four lines poem and we've given some topics here. See, you are, you have the freedom. Always remember that Rise of a Peace is our project and each educator, each student owns it also. So we can, we have plenty of elbow space. We have, we can uh, modify a little bit. We can change a little bit. So it's all right. So the two subtopics which we have given, you can always have something more to it, being kind, fairness for all, helping each other, following the rules. I understand we as educators are pretty occupied in the day-to-day -day, uh, responsibilities in schools. So that's why these structured activities are just to uh, just uh, helping to hold the hands. That's it. And as we move ahead, it is activity number five. And activity number five is poetry jam. This is continued where we uh, once we write the poem, we can always record it on the we can speak it out on the flip grid. And then um, that's the second part of it. And that's continued. And again, uh, flip grid, the link is given on which flip grid we are going to use it. And um, as we move to activity seven, uh, after the poetry jam, it is uh, building a better world together. SDG 16, this is Minecraft. Many of the students are very, very happy with the Minecraft. So again, we've given the theme. So technology comes in to build a world of their choice. And in that world, they're going to build being kind to each other. Some children really, really like it. So that's we, that's how we go. And as we move ahead, it is the newsletter cover design, which is the last part. And in this last part, it is SDGs and SDG 16. So the, just as we had a newsletter today, we're going to publish the work of the students in the newsletters 
Yeah. So the cover designing would also be there, be by one of the students who's there. So ladies and gentlemen, the directions are given. We are definitely going to share all uh, these uh, as such in a Word document. And uh, what is important is that uh, uh, in this, we are using number of tech tools. That is, we're using Flipgrid, we're using Adobe, we're using Copilot, we're using Wakelet, and uh, we're using AI. So in case uh, we need uh, a particular school says, and we're not aware how to use Wakelet, so the educator empowerment is there. And so we have so many uh, regional ambassadors and country ambassadors, and the, the team KNPS is also there. We can always collaborate and train our fellow educators. Uh, it means empower our fellow educators is the right word, perhaps. So please put it in the group, and there we are by your side, holding hands, because together we are going to move far. And it's always that's that's always the policy going far. So what is the way forward? And um, so monthly dialogue series and a teacher spotlight. Uh, this time we had we uh, we had one. Maybe plan uh, we can we'll have an MS form where you all can volunteer and let us know what work you would you like to share uh, during a monthly uh, meeting where we share the students' work which is already done. All right, in the form of a newsletter and an art gallery. And then youth focus interactive dialogue on SDG 16, that will be youth uh, spotlight. That's where we think that all students can come in. And I'm sure Samarth is going to add more to this. And we'll have the podcast series. So there's one thing which goes every month. That's that's meeting like this. But there'll be other activities which will be student focused. And there'll be podcast series and, of course, roundtables, which would be face to face as well as online uh, or a hybrid type of things. Let's see how we go ahead further. And as um, uh, it's it's a collaborative journey and we can move ahead. Uh, yes, uh, we move ahead, Charu, please. And uh, it's call to action and spread the word. Uh, registration is here. I've been sharing now. We have updated the number. Educators registered are 610. Students registered are 13,642. And schools and universities registered are 206. End users are 38. Right now, uh, we have... Uh, Right now, it is, uh, you know, the teachers have said my class is 35 students. We are working on the plans that if we can have the details of, um, uh, somehow a little more details uh, by filling up a form or something, we're working on those. And as we move ahead, I, I'm sure we're going to change because, you know, change is the, change is the order. And uh, I would now request Samad Patak to let us know some more activities which we can design, add on some special assemblies. Yes, over to you, please if you can add on something more yes thank you Ms. Dillon and I uh, must congratulate uh, Sandra and Amro for the wonderful work they did and of course the detailed newsletter the presentation I think this dialogue has all, all, already been about actions that we can undertake so some of the activities that have been proposed are absolutely great and the use of AI and tech in uh, education is also integrated uh, with SDV 16 which is wonderful uh, the other things that we were planning, and uh, of course, this is not uh, uh, this is not like the final thing that you have to do, or this is something that that is to be followed. Uh, we are a coalition, so your ideas, apart from all of these, are welcome. The only focus is SDG 16, and the key themes that we have indicated in the concept note, which includes mental health, anti-corruption, cybercrime, gender-based violence, and discrimination, among other things. So please feel free to share your ideas and how you can integrate um, you know, other uh, ideas in this. We had a few, and this involves uh, one very critical issue that we must not uh, let go of, which is capacity building on these issues. Uh, it's not enough to only uh, you know, sort of do something around this without knowing enough about the issue. So what we propose are also monthly trainings, like we did the last time, one session where we can get global experts to you uh, talking about, say, anti-corruption or cybercrime or one specific theme based on which uh, maybe, you know, activities could be conducted or at least students and educators can get a overall picture of what is going on, what the issue is, and it also enhances capacities of students. Uh, the other thing we want to also do is maybe or, or suggest is actually doing monthly assemblies with students around these topics. So every month we have clearly indicated in the concept note uh, 
every month there are around 10, 11 themes in overall. So every month you pick up one theme. Every month you have one assembly dedicated to one concept in support of Rise Up for Peace or SDG 16. And all of that can be documented. It could involve a student's pledge. It could involve a special poem or whatever you do in an assembly, a special talk by maybe getting a local expert to talk about these issues. Um, we can also, and we must also look at engaging students. And for this, we will of course share some of these details over an email or, a, or, or in the group. But one idea was that if all the schools, all of you could have maybe identify 10, 15 students uh, who could be a part of such forums like this. We bring in only students together from different schools, talk to them about one particular theme, and then they, becomes the champ they become the champions in your school on those particular issues for the month. So suppose 15 students from, say, Ms. Swati's uh, school or Ms. Uh, uh, Ranjana's school and all of us, they then start undertaking activities in their school because there's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer influence and we must also involve uh, young people. You could also consider doing a special monthly dialogue where we, UNODC experts and also other global experts that we can mobilize for you, can come in, engage with your students through interactive dialogues, giving them ideas and also mentoring them. So it's not just one session and then we disappear. They are always welcome and you are, you're all welcome to connect with us. And you know if you have any ideas in mind, sometimes we, you or the students may want to do something, but you don't know how to go about it. Or there is something that you have planned and you want to have additional ideas. We can help you there. We have that expertise. So the idea is that now we democratize and we decentralize and you start doing things in your school at different levels. And anytime you want UNODC, KNPS, or other experts, any other experts uh, there, uh, we can get them for you. You know, So you already have that knowledge support uh, behind you. And whether it's to engage students, whether it's to empower other educators, we are always there. So I will be very happy to share some ideas on this with all of you. And if you want to connect separately, that's also good. But ideally, we should do this collectively. And every month, the idea is that your schools do something, some activities that are tangible, which can, and not just activities, I mean, also knowledge gaining, the capacity building exercises, which we can then showcase in the newsletters and the other forums. There will be a lot of content. All of us have done a lot of uh, work in this these areas or the SDGs. I know Rise Up for SDGs was a huge, uh, you know, a huge success that we were also a part of there is going to be a lot of content that is going to come. Now, one challenge is how do we effectively collate it and showcase it? One suggestion from our side is that if you and your students ideally could create a blog space, an online free blog space, which is going to be co-owned by the school, I mean, owned by the school, you could have the Rise Up for Peace branding there, you could have our logo or whatever, but there will be one link where your school students are actually showcasing their efforts. It could be a blog space, a basic blog, and you should send us the link of that. And then that link is promoted. You could name that blog something. For example, you know, Cyber Tribe or Peace Champions or generally, I mean, Rise Up for Peace Advocates or something. Just suggestions. But all of that work that your students do would be then your, you know, it would be reflected by you on, on a common blog page. So instead of sending it all on, you know, say a flip grain, which is very important, we should have everything on a flip as well. But then to showcase it, each of the schools could have one blog page that is common, Rise Up for Peace page, where you get to own that work. And we can then promote that link extensively. Suppose the other batches also join in later, next year or, you know, the year after that, they could also then use the same blog, your blog space. So it would give you a lot of continuity. We have done this before and it has worked very well, uh, but this is again a suggestion for all of you. So we will share more ideas. We look forward to your ideas and please also engage your students in coming up with interesting initiatives. Uh, a very important thing in SDG 16 is social initiatives. I'll give you a few examples. We have had grade seven students uh, from uh, some places in India who came to us saying that we want to do something around anti-corruption. Now we told them that, okay, what is it that you could do? We were talking to them about advocacy and posters and all of that. They said, no, we want to actually, you know, do something about anti-corruption. You know, anti so we said, okay, come to us with an idea. 
Now, what they did was they actually came to us with a very good proposal and they initiated it, grade seven, eight students. They said that we will learn about the Right to Information Act, which is a policy in India, based on which you can any citizen can go to the government and get information that you know they, they desire. It's a it's it's a law. So they learned the RTI, they learned it's a simple form that you have to fill up. And they went to the community teaching other people and the other young people about RTI, which is a very solid step against corruption. So these are the kind of initiatives. This is just an example, but some social initiatives, maybe young people could create community interventions or community networks where they are promoting SDG 16, or maybe a club against bullying in school, which is very important. So these are the different social interventions also that you could try and promote among your young people. And for all of this, again, we have expertise, we have experts who are very willing to engage with your school, with your students uh, through sessions throughout the year, um, in which we can do as part of Rise Up for Peace. And lastly, I'm sorry, I've taken a bit of time. We are also planning to engage policymakers, like we have said in the previous sessions as well. Uh, at the local level where you are, at the national level, at the central level, wherever we can get policymakers involved, that will be very helpful. And uh, the idea is that all the Rise Up for Peace, Partners for Peace, or the partner institutions should become hubs, which are connecting other schools and other institutions as well. So one idea is that we are looking at doing roundtables, where one school could maybe host a roundtable, a basic meeting, with other educators, you, you call in other educators from different schools, your colleagues, your counterparts in different institutions um, and some local policymakers. And we have a dialogue around how SDG 16 can be mainstreamed in the classrooms. What are you doing? What are some ideas that you have? Uh, policymakers could perhaps share what are they doing at the policy level, but it will be an important uh, platform where policymakers can also be engaged. So this is something also that we are looking to do, uh, especially in India right now, but maybe virtually we could do it in other uh, other countries as well. So this is an idea that these are ideas that I just wanted to park with you. And we will, of course, share some notes on this and some uh, ideas in a concrete way as well. And finally, this is absolutely the final part. Everything that we do at the school level, everything that we do under Rise Up for Peace must be documented somewhere because we would like to showcase all of these efforts. We don't want to miss anything. So ideally, we could maybe at the school level, we could do Excel sheets. We can send you the tables that you could create. And throughout the year, till November or December, whatever activities you are planning, it's a very clean cut Excel sheet. You just fill in the effort so that nothing is missed out. Or you send us the details and we can have one common shared Excel file, which will be very useful. Please do keep a record. Uh, please do keep photos and links and whatever you have. But maybe, for, uh, Ms. Dillon, that would be a good idea. One common Excel sheet that okay. people could, you know, sort of uh, upload on. So this is it from my side, but we will share some updates with you on this. Uh, thank you, Samad. Uh, I, I see for you from Taiwan. For you, come on. We are meeting after maybe a year online. Come on, please say something. I just, uh, I'm glad I joined after the invite. Oh, so miss you guys, and uh, so happy to join our uh, rise up for peace again. I miss you all, and uh, so happy and uh, so honored to be invited to SDGs. I always learn from you, global educators, and thanks. Our Miss Paramount always uh, teach me a lot. And uh, this year, I also guided my students to do SDG 16, and we already done. So this year, we will do much effort, and I will do as much as we can. I will guide my students to join um, diversity SDG 16 projects. And just yes. wait and see, and we will so happy to share that because Taiwan piece of for us is so important. And I also empathy that all global educators, such as the um, Palestine or just like uh, uh, Ukraine, all over the world, we all hope that the peace and all pray for uh, our, our, we have a love and peace all over the world. Thank you so much. And thank you, namaste.
Thank you, thank you, Dung. I, I, I don't know. I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yes, uh, she's joined from Vietnam. Yes, thank you. Ah, we are good. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm sure your students are going to be active participants too. Uh, you can speak out. You, you have muted yourself. Please unmute. Yes, you called me, right? Yes, we called you. Yeah, uh, I'm Yung Yung Wing from Vietnam. And uh, uh, teacher Fozu is my mentor. Yeah, okay. she uh, yeah she guide me to um, uh, uh, to to learn how to cooperate with the uh, global uh, educators and uh, do some collaborations uh, and connection with uh, other students uh, around the world. And we also uh, do a cross the sky project together. And I am. Um, I'm still learning about how to uh, uh, make our student uh, more active uh, in learning and uh, um, connect with the uh, peers around the world and uh, have a more chance to uh, open the window to the world and they can gain more knowledge from other teachers and students. Thank you for um, the opportunity uh, to bring me here and uh, learn from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And we have one of our advocates, Zainab Gambo. Uh, come on, please uh, speak out, Zainab, and tell us about yourself and uh, your students and how they're going to participate. See, this is all introduction which is going on. We've got eight minutes to go, and we would like everybody to, you know, a few seconds for everyone is there. Okay, good. This is afternoon here in Nigeria. My name is. Zaina Bugambo, like it's written out there. So I'm an advocate of the SDGs, although this is my first time uh, working with the 16. The one I was working with is uh, the education for all. And I've been transferred out of my place to Lagos State, Nigeria. So seeing the peculiarity in the different environments, I will have to advocate for a different thing because uh, I noticed that the school enrollment for girl child here in Lagos is very high. So that was why I showed interest in participating and collaborating with uh, a bigger platform that will bring us together, hopefully, so we can do some things together. So for now, I myself am new in Lagos State, so I will be advocating for my school and together with my students, we're going to design a very big project for the SGG 16. So I look forward to greater collaboration, greater cultural exchange and greater good things to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. So anyone else would like to speak, please uh, unmute yourself and uh, say it all. Because we'll be sharing all the activities uh, in the groups also. Good evening, ma'am. Hi, who's there? Good evening, son. Ma'am, Krishan Maipal. Oh, I said you've grown tall. I, I, I saw you sitting and you've really grown tall. So you're going to participate. Can I say something? Okay, quickly, your voice is important. Lekar chale hum pegam, lekar chale hum pegam bhai chare ka, lekar chale hum pegam bhai chare ka, taki vyaar khun na bhai kisi vatan ke rakhwale ka. Oh, that's so good, Krishna. As usual, you're always great. Keep it up. Thank you, uh, ma'am. God bless you. So participate in all the activities, all right? So Amandeep, you've Thank raised you, your hand. Any anything anybody else has raised the hand? Savita. Yes, Savita. Did, okay, I, I won't be calling out the names. If you can unmute yourself and speak out, that'll be good. Uh, Ma'am, I wanted a little clarity on what are we supposed to, do we plan to include in the round tables? Uh, over to Samad. Yes. So, Gujot, ma'am, the idea is that uh, we bring in one school 
uh, suppose your school hosts a round table at the local level you bring in about you know ideally 80 to 100 educators that you may know from around the city that you are in or around the city uh, as much as possible uh, we could have some policy makers at the local level who could come in most schools are connected with policy makers as well uh, we can try from UNODC, KNPS and other experts, we can try and join in person. That will be our you know, first push. But in case we can't join in person, we would definitely be able to connect virtually. And the idea will be one fold. I mean, that's the key thing. How do we mainstream education on rule of law around SDG 16 in mainstream education? This will be a platform where we could showcase the great work that different schools have been doing at, in your city at the local level. Different educators could also have that chance, but you would be able to say that you are the hub. You are bringing in these different educators together. So it will be your interface with the policymakers. And the policymakers could also be sensitized around why this matters. You could have some students coming in, your students coming in, sharing their work, sharing their efforts. Uh, you could say the positive behavior changes that are guaranteed to happen under, under this, under such uh, with such activities. Uh, so the idea will be to sensitize policymakers, engage with them, and also other educators who don't know. So your expertise could also be shared with the other educators that you bring them. Uh, we have had this before, uh, this, this format, where one school becomes like the hub school. You bring in about 1,800 other educators, you know, from different at, the diff at different levels from your city. Bring in some policy makers, maybe even some young people, some talented young people that you may know. And uh, just a dialogue, exchanging ideas, fostering cross learning around SDG 16 in the classroom. So uh, we will be, of course, very, we'll be looking to come in person to your school. Uh, we could look at maybe co hosting the program, but this will all be at the school level. So uh, this is what we had in mind. Happy to explore this a little further. Rehana is thank you so much. Rehana is there. Rehana, come on from Bangladesh. There she is. I am here, but I am very sick today because I have continued our training from our government. For this reason, I'm very busy with this event. But I'm very much pleasure to hear. Uh, I want to know how we collaborate with students, with other educators, and what is the what is the topic? Uh, Do Rehana, you have any agenda? Yeah. Rehana, I believe you joined um, uh, uh, a little late. Uh, I'll be sharing the document which will have everything with you. It's something similar which you've done earlier. They're structured activities. And apart from that, many more have been planned, which will be all for students only. OK, I'll be sharing the document with you. All right. You know, my students are very little and our language is Bengali. For this reason, they are not able to, to speak uh, English very well. For this reason, I have to struggle. So I have to know before that. Right. So, 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 yeah. See, you're such so good at IT skills. I know that I am very, very aware. You have oh, your Microsoft expert, Adobe uh, expert, ambassador. You, you. I know that you are. I know all about your IT skills. So one is we're using the IT skills. Second is we'll be having plenty of art integration. So if they don't speak, they can paint and draw, and then we can always promote multilingualism, right? So if it is flip grade, you can have your children's voice recorded in Bengali. That's also yes, a great yes, idea. Oh, oh, oh. Rah yeah. Rahana ji, if I may come in also. So what we have done, we, we, we also have UNODC experts in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. We have a proper office there in Dhaka. And uh, maybe some of them could actually, if you're in, if you're based in Dhaka, some of them could actually travel to your school and maybe do certain activities as well under Rise Up for Peace. Uh, we could perhaps look at joining virtually, but these UNODC experts would know Bengali because some of them are already from, you know, of course, from Bangladesh. So there'll be a good cultural integration as well. We can sort of explore that as well with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So anybody else who will see our one hour of official meeting is over, right? Now, if we have some, <laughs> yeah, who's there? Please go ahead and speak. I'm Sharanjit here, ma'am. Oh, Sharanjit, <laughs> uh, all out of the blue, 
she she messages me ma'am if rice of peace is there i'm sure it's it's by you and all that stuff and i am in ratlam now in madhya pradesh and i want to participate that was my it. principal in the year 1995 96 army public school yes thanks <laughs> <laughs> that's a relationship we hold and i was so happy when i got a message from her i said what are you doing in ratlam she said i got married and i've gone there but uh, thank you so much darling for remembering a principal uh, i've been with you ma'am for a long time ma'am it's been years <laughs> uh, yeah obviously i left that in uh, in the year 2000 right and yes, see ma'am. darling 24 years have passed already when i left army school and you remember me i owe so much to all of you you keep ma'am. us going you keep <laughs> us going are you having the same energy you are so dynamic i mean i i love you for this ma'am <laughs> you are my inspiration in short i will say okay okay so now we are all in for rice of a piece your children should be participating you said you teaching 9th and 10th you we actually had a chat so your children should be participating it's very very important darling yes right? ma'am sure ma'am yes thank ma'am. you thank you sweetheart thank, thank you. you so much ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you anybody else would like to say uh, ranjana last time you could not connect and you were out i'm sure you would like to say something please go ahead you were so worried last time and I I don't know again something. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, this is Manjula from uh, South India. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes. So, which people can participate these activities? Bitte, it's K twelve. Even your kindergarten children want to say something, they're welcome. they want to draw something they welcome see the message is loud and clear if the, it, it is a whole school project okay yes. it's when we advocate something then we'll be able to know something then we'll be able to take action so advocacy and awareness becomes the first step to action yes so it's k12 all right yes. to kindergarten you go the teacher tells them something about peace and whatever is the topic they draw they paint their lovely drawings in their own hand would be so good and remember we are going to publish a newsletter yes. and the children are so happy when they see their own paintings and drawings and their voices on the flipgrid they are happy right and manjula ji also uh, you know what you, exactly k12 is what we are looking at so art and advocacy could happen say till grade 5 but beyond that if you want if you are holding sessions and this is again something that i would push that you could maybe hold sessions in your school with students and educators where we could join virtually they could be hybrid we can try and even come in person but uh, you could do you know specific sessions on certain themes for secondary level students you know so we could maybe come there but maybe till grade 5 they could look at advocacy awareness making art even one line slogans or something like that Uh, that will be very helpful we also have a few cartoons and uh, you know sort of animations that we would be very happy to share with you uh, especially for the younger students that you have but at the higher levels of the higher grade say above grade 7 we can actually hold interactive sessions with them where they could learn about these issues and also then do something about it okay so i see inderjeet also inderjeet would you like to say something i'm so happy to see you ma'am Yes, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. And uh, ma'am, uh, I would like to uh, send my heartfelt gratitude uh, for empowering and educating us on AI tool and IT tools. And uh, I have realized uh, that uh, through this, uh, our students will understand the usage of technology for global cause. like we have been telling them that you know the technology children should uh, you know not uh, you know uh, like it can be used in a in such a positive manner they can you know voice their opinion at a, at at a, at a global level through this uh, you know platform so i really want to extend uh, my heartfelt gratitude and for for all the knowledge uh, for guiding us uh, and also 
uh, also the road map you have given uh, through the activities and uh, we uh, will be uh, definitely participating and uh, hopefully uh, the students will understand the noble cause of sdg 16 and uh, thank you so much thank you thank you thank you archana ji would you like to say something please Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I'm from Solapur. First time I attend this session, so I don't have any idea about talk. Next time I will speak. I'm very uh, glad to meet you all of you. And today I'm listening very. Uh, this session is very nice. Huh? Very nice. Okay. So you are in Patel Sir's team. From. You are from from uh, Pune side, yeah. and Mr. Patel uh, uh, invited you for this, right? Oh yes, yes, Patil, Bibi Patil sir. Ah, yes. that's what I'm saying, Patil sir. He is also okay. one of the advocates, and I don't, I don't find him anywhere around. I'm going to ask him where were you, sir. So <laughs> that's it. Thank you so much for representing your team, and thank you very much. Anybody else want to say something? Uh, Veronica, you were the first one to join, and please, we want to hear your voice. You are one of the great, uh, you know, advocate action. Uh, uh, person who takes action, please go ahead and speak, Veronica. Unmute yourself, dear. Okay, thank you. Can you listen to me? Yes, we can. A few minutes ago, basic ideas of how other teachers uh, to go about uh, maybe training other educators and raising awareness and involving policymakers in this initiative. I have also, the document is divided into a teacher's advocacy and student's advocacy. So I have just shared some, some ideas that I have brainstormed over the past week of yes. how we, we can uh, take actionable, easy steps in order to involve other teachers, educators, other members of the community. On my end here, I have been brainstorming. I had a brainstorming session last Sunday with a group of um, theater students, actually, and we are thinking of adapting um, a very uh, a very famous poem that it is actually is, is a is a local poem. Um, it was written by someone from from our region, from our town. His house is just a few blocks away from my place, and it, it's a poem that is taught in literature. And it talks about our gauchos, and and it's perfect. Uh, it it perfectly fits into the SDG 16 because it it talks about how our country people didn't have access to justice and to uh, fair institutions. So we are making an adaptation, and we are thinking of doing um, one one theater play uh, about that poem, including the SDG 16. And also for the little ones, I have a friend who is, is a painter and he has an educational program of, of arts for little kids. And we are thinking of having a session with little children in which um, we are going to tell them about the SDG 16, maybe have some storytelling and then have them paint something. These are all uh, projects that I have outside my schools. They involve people from Uruguay and Brazil, but they are outside my schools. Uh, okay. With with my in the schools I work with, the students are a little bit older. They are older teenagers, around 16, 17, and we are going to start working next week on something more, a little bit more serious. We are working on globalization, and and how we can. So they are doing a series of presentations uh, on on that topic. So that's basically it. So far. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of ideas, and so I'm trying to organize everything so okay. that I can actually. Okay, I think I think uh, we've lost her. We can't hear. Uh, in the meantime, Mr. Mohammed, you have raised your hand. Would you like to speak something? You can unmute yourself, please, and speak out. Mr. Mohammed, would you like to speak? 
You can unmute yourself and speak. Mr. Ravi, uh, in case you would like to speak and just introduce yourself also. Maybe when Mohammed sir, can. That's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it's yeah. my first time to join this session. Welcome I saw welcome. your link uh, on the SDD group. And now I am in a training. So I could not join with this session with my students. Here is also Mr. Mazmoon. You can oh, see that. Oh, how are you? Okay. Yeah, yes. yeah. We are in Ghana now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bangladesh. We are in Bangladesh a journey. Bangladesh friends. Are just, yes, yeah, yeah, we are just going to our uh, home uh, after receiving the training. And it's raining with thunder. Okay. So network is not stable. But I am very happy. Uh, here I can see lots of my uh, favorite and well-known uh, teachers also, like Krahana Mem, Furoy, and uh, <laughs> another educator also. So I am very happy to join this session. But I am unhappy that I could not attend this session with my students. And I hope next time I will next time I will join this session uh, with my students so yes. that. Uh, then can uh, they can increase their knowledge about HDD. Yes, so thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for thank you. We are very happy to that. Now we are uh, in a uh, bus. Okay, we have a uh, degree in Bangladesh uh, under uh, Open University. Me, me and Mr. Atiku Rahman. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, Atiku Rahman. All right. Okay, yeah, thank yeah, yeah. you so much. Thank you. Okay, so, thank you, thank you. yeah, we'll be sharing. Please, I hope you've joined and registered. Do so in case you haven't done, because in that link, I had given everything, okay? But otherwise, I'll post you also. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Ravi, please uh, let us know about yourself. Yes. Uh, good, good evening, everyone. And uh, Paramjit, ma'am, I'm thankful for you that you have uh, sent me that concept note regarding uh, what exactly is this project all about? Because yes, one day before only I've got this information and I was completely new what is it. But I think I am on the same page means uh, right now I'm very much comfortable that what is the project is all about. And um, very soon I will be also joining with the students because I will be able to tell what is is all about. And we are, I am from the Man School, Delhi and um, we are also conducting many SDG related activities. So uh, SDG 16 also will be a part because I think uh, we are in, uh, in drug and crime and related activities. We are in into that. We are less into that. But yes, this okay. will be a kind of new venture for the school to and enlighten the students about the project. Okay. So looking forward to this uh, project and uh, and but I want to ask one thing where, where this uh, um projects can be shared or by the students we'll be sharing it in the group all details and we have to share it in the wakelet and we go for all it trainings whatever whatever type of help is needed we have advocates uh, for peace ambassadors of peace uh, the knps team is there we'll be empowering our fellow educators so that the students work could be collated in one place and that's the tech tool wakelet which you're going to use all right, okay. we've done it for about three schools. We've done some training and they're very okay. happy they were part of this. So we'll go for those training. No and issues. At also, all. I would like that if uh, our school teachers means I think educators means the whole of the school teachers. The will entire be school team, the entire right school now, they team. Will be, uh, mm -hmm. It will be helpful for if that kind of uh, training session can be held for once because all the teachers means can be educated about this particular project. Yes, and, we'll do that. We do that. The one is we'll tell about the entire project. Second is we can go for training. And uh, I have a team who has already volunteered. So the two teachers join in and the peer learning is so wonderful. A teacher yes, learning from a teacher is so teacher satisfying. Learning. Yes, ma'am. That yeah. is that will be even better because they would have learned they what would be doing they will be enhanced yeah. by this. Yes, we can go ahead and you can always put all your queries in the group. I know you joined and then you said, yes. tell me something. And then, yeah, we, I could yes. respond. That's the good part. So let me and see. Uh, Swati was there all the while, but I don't see her. It's it's saying hello. But before we move out, can we have a group picture, Charu? Can we have the? You know that's important. We, we missed yes. uh, Samarth today. See, yes. we, have, <laughs> we missed on it. But yeah. never mind. Even now we yeah. can go for it. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
so a few clicks. So, so set your hair right, have a good pose, wear your smile, and there we go. Again, we give have, 10 seconds, I think, to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Fix up their hair, look yeah. at the lighting. Uh, yeah, everybody, everybody on the camera, please switch on your camera. Thank you so much, my beloved educators. That's so nice. One minute, one minute. Let me also take this. I'll volunteer for this. All right. So one, two, two point five, and <laughs> three. All right. That's photo one. <laughs> and now I think we know the drill. We we need to do one action. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The same, Sandra. You want us to do the same action? <laughs> So anybody try something else? We could create hearts. A... How about a hashtag or a heart or something else? So that uh, we can... let's go for a heart, perhaps. Is it okay yeah. if we go for a heart now this time? Of, of course. SDG 16 is all about heart. Yes. Okay. So one, two, and three. Excellent. Excellent. Great. OK. So I think, Guljot, you raised your hand for a minute because we'll wind up now. Uh, it's one hour. Should... Yes. yes go ahead. Uh, just before you leave, 29th, my students to mark the Women's Day celebration since we had exams, they are hosting a session on Women's the Peacemakers. Ah, that's a good. Lovely. And, Very nice. Um, I Share the invite in the group. So I request you all to please join and motivate them. Yes. Fantastic, Gujarat ma'am. And we would be very and happy I to actually a join in. Of interactors who are doing it, and I would try my best. I've discussed at the district Rotary level today. I was at the Rotary meeting today, just came back, that I would try my best that I can take it to their level also. Okay. That's cool. Thank you. Okay, that's nice. Lovely invite. Thank you. Anybody so else want to say something? Take care because my bidding was stopped, so I have no picture. Please take another picture. <laughs> all okay, all right. My video was. We are always we are always looking forward to a good picture, of course. So okay, <laughs> yeah, let's give yeah, let, let, let let's give a <laughs> thumbs up this time. Okay, one thumbs up. <laughs> let's give each other two seconds more. I see cameras are still opening. Okay, one more minute. One, one more second. All right. So one, two, two. and three. 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 Very good. Very nice. <laughs> you know, it's a very successful dialogue if everybody is smiling at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Good, good. Yes, yes, it is so. So Swati, please, uh, the, the last line by you before we wind up. It's already 18 no, minutes no. over. No, no, ma'am. I just wanted to say that Ranjana is not being able to unmute. Her voice is cracking up. Can we address? She has something in the chat box. Can her point be addressed by either yeah. you or Samad, sir? Can uh, we just check? Yes, I've check? already written. Yes, I think okay, I've okay. already. Thank you, already. sir. So I just thought okay, because she wasn't being yeah. able to communicate. Thank yes, you. Yes, last yes. time also she had a real challenge. Right, right. And okay, again, yeah. I would like to just just once I would like to again reiterate that please do organize school focus sessions, which we can join maybe online and any support you need from us, please let us know. Uh, I have uh, another school leader, Charanjit Kaur. Ma'am, would you like to say something? Her school teachers also, we did, uh, you know, some empowerment there also. Would you like to say something? Uh, ma yes, ma'am. Yeah, it was great uh, that you had um, a session with all our staff members. And uh, am I audible? Yes, you yes. are. So, yeah, everybody was excited about it. And then we had a word with our students also, and we told them about SDG 16. And uh, they also are excited about it. And they've already started planning to how they are going to participate. And uh, 
even i am excited what their income and in input is going to be so i'm waiting for their uh, uh, you know drawings and uh, their paintings and their poems whatever they're going to write and uh, will be happily sharing with you thank you okay. so much for having me okay thank you so much all right thank you anybody else who would like to say something see it's 7:20 20, 20 minutes over and if we have to meet every month, we have to be very particular about the time. Um, some last line by anybody? Ranjana, are you, can you speak now? Ma'am, I'm there. Uh, I don't yes, know whether yes. you all can hear me. Yes, we can. Uh, actually, no one's video is visible to me. I can see only my face. No one's else. Because again, the internet, it's very unreliable here. Yes, yes. Um, ma'am. Like I was throughout there. Like actually, we uh, we had our last last working day today. So I just came from school and ten minutes were in my hand. So I just set for the meeting. So uh, everything I understood, but the uh, one or two questions are there. So I don't think uh, it's already late. So can I ask in the chat? I think that will be better. Yeah, you can always ask you can in always the group also. also. Yeah, yeah, because it's very late, uh, so I think uh, I should not uh, take others' time for my questions. So it's okay, ma'am. Uh, you can share it. Be always there to answer. Okay, yeah, so sure, sure, Samarth, sure. can we yeah. call it a day? The teachers have been working for the entire day. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, beloved educators. We are with you and you are with us and we are all for peace. That's how the thing goes. And they're going to be head on into it.